Hey guys, welcome to Yoga for All with Rose. Today I wanted to do a mindful movement snack that works with balancing. So maybe during your day, you want to stand up a little bit after having been seated a lot of your time, you want to stand up, find your center line and balance a little bit. Balancing is also very helpful for you as it keeps us safe when we're walking outside or even inside the house. So I put together a short sequencing for balancing. So come to the top of your mat and find your feet under your hips. And for, us a, for a warm up type of thing, we're just gonna gently shift our weight to our left foot. And I invite you to place your hands on your hip bones and just lift your right knee a little bit. Maybe you dangle that foot a little bit, finding heaviness, keeping the hips even. And from there, just gently tip your upper body forward, tilting at the hips, bend your, your standing knee and gently touch your toes to the floor. Uh, the back foot is non-weight bearing, so I have to balance here in my bent leg and I'm trying to find this length from the top of my crown to the tip of my toes behind me and the, then gently coming back to upright position. Let's try that again. You're welcome to bring your knee higher up if that feels good to you or you're welcome to keep your toe on the floor if you need a little added stability. So here we are. You can just gently tip your upper body forward, hinging at the hips, then bending that st standing leg and tipping those toes down, coming back up. And one more time, balancing, bending, strengthening the standing leg, maybe lifting the knee one more time and placing the foot down. Now shift your weight to the right. Left knee rises or maybe it stays on the floor. Dangle it a little bit, feel the heaviness, hips are even. Now gently tilt at the hips, leaning forward, and then bend your standing knee. Again, that back toe is just barely touching the floor, and then come back up. Let's do a second time, maybe flowing a little bit more, trying to keep that toe from putting any weight on it, just hovering above the floor. And then you bring it up and come back down. Nice, maybe wiggle your hips a little bit. Now, shifting your weight to the left, bring your right knee up and flex your foot. You may hold on to your knee under the knee, over the knee, and if that's not available for you, feel free to keep your toes on the floor. If you find that knee a little higher, place your opposite hand on your knee and open towards the knee. A nice little balancing twist. From here, bring your both hands to your knee and bring that knee to the side. Maybe extending the opposite arm to the side. Maybe that goes up. Whoa, and there I go. My tree just fell down. Awesome. Balancing is wonderful. Then wherever your second arm was, bring it in as you cross that and find your standing balancing pigeon. So I'm crossing my right ankle over my left knee. Now, if this is causing trouble for you, you can always use a wall. You can always you hold on to a wall as you do this and really pull in your belly in and up and thinking of lengthening your spine as you balance. It helps to gently push the hands toward each other so you have that sensation of the center line. Now gently float everything up, maybe lift the knee and come back and let's do the other side. Shifting weight to the right, lift that knee wherever that wants to go, maybe holding underneath it, maybe shaking it a little bit. I like to flex my toe here, my toes. 
placing the opposite hand on the knee opening to the side looking to the side it does not have to go that far it's more of a upper body twist while you balance then bring both hands on your knee and open it to the side. Maybe the side arm goes to the side. Maybe it goes all the way up. This time this tree is not falling, which is fine. And then bring it across over your right knee and sit down in your standing pigeon. Thinking of length, pulling the navel in and up maybe finding a place to look like a place or a specific thing that you find as your focal point and from there gently floating it all up and coming down nice now shift your weight to the left and here i would like us to bend the right knee my knees are together and from the inside, I'm going to try to get a hold of my foot. Now, this might be a great thing where you hold on to a wall. That's A-OK. -okay. From here, pull in your navel in and up. Lift your core, support your back and spine. Now, my knees are together. I'm going to extend my arm forward or hold on to the wall if that's more comfortable for you. And now I'm gently going to move my right knee towards the back of my mat. So this is like a miniature dancer. I'm more interested in balancing and shoulder opening rather than any height. Just the knee moving towards the back and then gently bring it back in, knees together. Now extend the arm overhead. And now we're gonna do a little bit more of a dancer pose. So gently kicking into your hand, keeping that knee down. And I would like us to just stay here, not tilting forward, more having that length through the fingers and opening in the back. And then gently bring it down and let go maybe shaking a little bit in between shifting the weight to the right bending the left knee my knees are together holding on to the foot from inside Whoop. i guess i need to show it to you this way this time around from the inside bring the knees together and extend your arm forward now think about kicking your knee towards the back of your mat directly to the back directly to the back opening the shoulder and then bring it back to knees together extending the arm overhead now there's a long side body feeling here and now kick your foot into your hand but keep the expression flowing up rather than tipping forward really feel the energy shooting out through your hand and feeling that shoulder opening in the back and from there gently bring it down and shake 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 now one final thing to center to create a little bit more balance between both sides inhale float your arms up and lift your heels as far as you would like them to go exhale gently float everything back down let's do that with the right arm right raise rising only so arm inhale heels up all the way up and then gently floating everything in synchronization down left arm floating up as you direct the weight on your toes toward your big ball, big toe ball mount, and then gently bringing it all down. One more time, both arms. Now lifting the heels. Maybe now you feel comfortable going a little bit higher, really feeling that big toe connecting. 
and then floating down. Inhale, the length of the inhale takes you up. The length of the exhale brings you down. Nice, place one hand on the heart, one hand on your belly. Deep breath in, deep breath out. I thank you for your time and energy. Thank you for trying this balance thing. Please make sure you subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.